Hi, this is Jake from Optimus Futures, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to monitor positions, manage those positions, and how to check your recent trade history. So first up, I think a really good location as to where to actually monitor your position and manage them are through the dome. Now, if you do have a dome open, this will be particular to that specific symbol that you have applied to this dome only. So in just a second, I will show you how you can monitor and manage these positions for your overall trading account, but for now, let's just focus on one symbol. So the dome is a great location because of course you can place trades directly through here. And you'll notice at the bottom, you can flatten, cancel and reverse all positions associated with whatever contract you have applied to your dome. So let's go ahead and place a simulated trade. So we'll just click on a buy market button here. And as you can see, we now have one long position in the ES U9. We can see our positions are listed right here. We'll see one at the specific price. So it's at 3012. And then we can see our PL here as well. If I wanted to, I could either reverse this position. And as you can see, it'll tell you exactly what you're doing. If you want to make this essentially one click trading and avoid these warnings in the future, you can click this checkbox here. As you can see, now that we reversed it, we're on the opposite side of the equation here. We're on we're short now, one position at 30150. And we can see that designated on our dome. We can see that shown here, and we also see our new PL. If we wanted to get out of this position entirely, we can click the flatten button. As you can see, this will close all positions for the ESU9 at market price. And doing so will automatically get us out of that position. If you have multiple multiple positions or multiple orders working, you can click cancel all, and it'll do so for every single order associated with the ESU9. And just in case you didn't know, if you do have multiple trading accounts, you can click this drop down menu here and sort between the two. So those are for your specific symbols. Now, of course, not every trader is going to have a dome. They won't have the specific motive wave package that includes it. They may not use a dome for their trading, whatever the case may be. That's OK. There are other options for those users. We'll close that out now. And for now, I suggest we'll just still work within this tab system here in the top left. So I'll click this plus button and by default, you'll probably have this arrangement of the platform. If not, you can always just go through the file menu instead and start a new workspace or just create a new widget from there. But let's start with this. So from here, we can click the plus button and now we can work through the multiple widgets we have in this menu. So first up, you'll see orders and we're going to want to click on this. This is where you can monitor all any active orders, working orders. So as you can see, because we did place some market orders, there's essentially nothing working right now. There's nothing active. But if we looked at our filled orders, you can see that we did place all three of those simulated orders that I just showed you on the dome. So being that we flatten them out, we currently have nothing. But as you can see, this is a good place to check all filled orders. So it gives you the account it was associated with. A ticket, the ticket number, of course, is going to depend on whether you're live or simulated trading. These were on the simulated exchange built into Motive Wave. If you're not familiar how to activate that, please check our previous video on that. But so we're simulated trading. The ticket number doesn't really matter here. You get order time. You can see your action, the quantity. You can see the type of order, the price it was filled at, the trigger price, fill price, of course, how many you filled, the current status of it. And then, of course, we can scroll this over to see. We can see if there's any remaining orders or quantity left. And then if you have the limits and your fill time. So let's actually take a look and I'm going to reopen the dome and just see what it looks like when an active order is in the market. So we're going to do the ESU9 again. Let's just place a limit order this time. We'll unlock our dome to do so. Let's go ahead. We're going to place a short limit. As you can see, it's right here. And just so you, if you didn't know already and you do trade through the dome directly, you can actually click that yellow C button and it'll close out your order there, cancel all. So going back to our orders now, as you can see, because this is currently working in the market, it's considered an active order. It hasn't been filled yet because the price hasn't been touched. So you'll always see it in this active section. It'll tell you your action here. And it'll pretty much give you the same information as we did look at within the field section. Only difference here is now you can actually clear by clicking that C button again. 
directly from your active order sheet and it'll close out your position. So again, if you don't have access to the dome here, you're more than welcome to monitor and manage your orders through this orders tab. Moving on, let's go into positions. So as far as open positions go, we didn't actually place any trades here for the Dow, but previously I have made some trades on my simulated account for the YMU9, the Dow. And you can see we currently have an open position for that. So this will monitor all positions for every single symbol. Same thing as that orders widget did. Unlike the dome, this will show you in everything associated with your account. And if you have multiple accounts, it'll list all them here. So as you can see, we do have one long position on the mini DAO. We can see my quantity. We can see my current entry price. You can see my current profits and losses, and you can see the last price of this contract. If you want, you can close out your position directly from here rather than through the dome. We just click on close. And it, of course, it'll give you that confirmation. Again, if you don't want it, you can just click on this checkbox here. We'll avoid that for now since we're sticking with the default, but you'll notice if you click yes, you get that little notification sound. You probably can't hear it on your end, but it'll close out your position for you. Now, if you want to refer back to all your closed positions for whatever reason, if you want to see PL or want to see what you've traded in the past, you can just click on the close positions tab. It's just to the right of the open positions. And as you can see, we had three. Now we do have the two that I did place on this demo, just prehand using the dome. You'll see it gives you the quantity, my average entry price, average close price, the PNO on those orders, and then our close time. And then of course we have this position that we did just close out now with a YM, the mini DAO. Again, it gives you the same information. Negative PNL is represented by red, positive is represented by blue. Now, the final thing I'll just show you is trade history. This will pretty much just give you your trade history. Every order you've placed on your account, you can check and monitor here. So again, pretty much very similar to what we've seen before. This is just giving us the entire account history rather than specific such as positions or working orders. We're getting everything here. So you're gonna see your orders, your working orders, your positions, all of which will be filled out here. And again, PL is represented if we're not doing live right now, but you'll see commission, price, the quantity, the action, so whether you buy or sold, the time, the exchange, and the symbol. One more thing you might want to keep in mind is just the accounts widget here. This will just show you, again, this is kind of dealing with account history and monitoring your balances, things like that. Again, this will just show you all the different trade accounts that you have associated with your workspaces or your platform. It'll show you your balance, your cash balance, and then PNL on your accounts. And then, of course, if you're working with a live account or an actual data feed rather than the simulated one, you'll see things such as margin balance, FCM IDs, minimum margin, minimum balance, buying power, use buying power, reserve buying power, things like that. So just another location just where you can monitor account history, look at positions, look at the balance in your account, thing like that. But if you do have any other questions, please let us know in the comment section below. We're always answering and monitoring. You can also head over to our forum. We're more than welcome to answer questions and we'll answer them there as well. Other than that, this about wraps it up for this video. If you did like it, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more MotiveWave content, and as always, thanks for watching.